absolutely gorgeous day in the swamp. It is time. Jordan Ball in the backfield. DJ Lagway on the run, taking a shot down the field, and that ball is incomplete. Season. Lagway trying to make it happen with his feet. Defense was looking for that early whistle. I'm sure in this offense. Mertz on the pop pass to Trey Wilson. Mertz to the air, down the left side and incomplete. Trying to haul it in with a one-handed catch that time was Khalil Jack. Third down play here for Mertz. That's complete across the 40, enough for the first down. And to keep football dad, he said, on the staff. Ron Roberts making the transition from Auburn here to Gainesville. That pass complete to Montreal Johnson. Down opportunity. Mertz with a clean pocket in time. Now he's got to scramble. Throws across his body, complete at midfield. You mentioned it a second ago, 61 catches, 538 yards, six touchdowns a year ago for Trey Wilson. Takes over an offense with a new scheme, new language, so it's like coming to a new country and trying to figure out the, the local language. Now he speaks it. It's a give to Johnson again. Johnson picks his way through the defense, trying to get to that first down marker. And he's going to be dropped. Transfer portal season brought to Gainesville, but when you have experience in the SEC, it's even more valuable. Going forward on fourth down, keeping it on the ground, and that's close. Oh the season wears on, which I thought last year Jackson wore down quite a bit. Mertz flushed from the pocket, and he will throw this one incomplete, trying to get a quarterback, get the play in quickly, and perhaps mention something else as they're coming to the line. He thinks it's a game changer. I love it. I don't know why it took college football. Mertz with time, Smith. and his pass is caught. Eugene Wilson, Smith. Trey Wilson, but also Chimery DK, the transfer from Wisconsin, a guy who we will keep an eye on. Webb on the carry. The, the links are going to be Sticks occupied. are coming out They're soon, coming, right? Yeah, no doubt. On the ground to the left side, and good penetration that time. On this drive on third down plays. Mertz over the middle. That one's tipped into the air and incomplete. Grayson Howard in first in the orange and blue game. Here at Steve Spurrier, Florida field. The field goal is good, and the blue team struck down to the day before signing day. A lot of pressure for him to stay in his home state of Texas. Earned not only the offense, but from Graham Mertz himself. Now that DJ Lagway's father may have said it the best on Twitter, just thanking about his relationship with. DJ Lagway as well. Lagway tries to get to the outside, and he is touched down at midfield. And that the future is bright for Lagway. The worst thing I think that can happen for young quarterbacks sometimes is being put in situations where they're playing too early. KD Daniel, all the freshmen from Atlanta. How about this? Average 14 yards per carry in his senior season at Columbia High School. 19 touchdowns. Florida had opportunities. I think about the Missouri game. Chances to get off the field and just couldn't. DJ Lack over the middle, had time. That was the first passing play of the drive, a 22-yard strike. Successful so far, but looking for number 11 to kind of take that next step. Hunter Smith on for the extra point. And it's now the orange offense in front, 7-3, seven, to three, seven plus. Those guys don't get as well, but I think having had a quarterback like Mertz have that experience has been beneficial for sure in the perspective of Green. Pensacola transferred in from Cahoma County Community College. That's in the Mississippi Delta. It's time to the air. Pass is complete to DK. Timmery DK. The he needs to step up. I, I talked about the returning production from last year. 61 catches from Trey Will. Not catching balls from Mertz right now. Back to the ground, and this time, quarterback keeps it. That's Clay Millen picking his way. Here in front of a crowd today on the game field is important. 38-yard try from Smack, and he makes it. And to see him handle the recognition uh, that comes with that, I think it's been awesome to see. His family's impressive time there. If you look at that group as a whole, a lot of players playing last year, first time they've played, right? And um, I think in the nation last year, well, the good thing about playing young guys early is they come back a little bit more experienced the next year. You talked about the total number of snaps that were in at quarterback for the blue offense. They put a couple of field goals on the board. The only touchdown has come from the orange offense. 
on that pass from Lagway to the terms of the roster makeup. Yeah, I think that uh, building a program is very difficult, right? You, you bring in guys, you don't know how long you're going to have them. You're having to re-recruit your physical with opposing wide receivers with that length. Lagway back to the air. That's Marcus Burke, the wide receiver. Not a season ago. How important in what Florida is trying to do offensively is that tight end position? It's huge. I mean, the 12 personnel is something that I... But those guys, particularly the versatility that Boardingham can bring you, being able to split out in a wide receiver position creates matchup issues that the advancing score in the stadium, they've given the Orange team an extra field goal. So 10-6 on their scoreboard. You said liberties that exist in the spring game. National Gatorade Player of the Year out of Willis High School in Texas. Play action. Let's it fly. What a pretty a ball and what a nice catch. He's been able to contribute here the last couple of years. Back to Jordan Ball. Over the mm. middle, incomplete. A little early, yeah. Uh, managing the clock in late game situations against Arkansas. So they've got to clean things up. They're not good enough to overcome self-inflicted wounds. Lagway mm. step. What, what opposing defenses are going to be able to do. Jaden Ball back into the game. He gets the handoff, breaks a tackle, trying to get to that first down marker, and he's going to be dropped. It's Hunter Smith from 24 yards mm. out, and he snapped that one left. No good. Under his wing, and I think he benefited supremely from having the opportunity to work with number one last year. How about a touchdown for Trey Wilson? 10-5 in catches for 111 yards and a touchdown for Trey Wilson. And one of the things that, that was really interesting, you know, you, you hear from Mertz to Wilson, now Lagway on the run, wide open receiver, and that ball is caught. Here's where they were not on staff to, together. Austin Armstrong told us he and Ron Roberts still talked mm. two or three times a week. How about another completion? Touchdown over the top, so having some of those big plays certainly will help this offense and maybe open up the run game too. Cone hauls it in. That is the second touchdown pass for DJ Lagway. Yeah, second touchdown pass of the ball with his hands there as well. To add depth at wide receiver, perhaps can see his role continue to grow in this Florida offense. That's what I love. Kobe Jackson with him in the backfield and Jackson play action instead of throw. And that ball Burns with Webb in the backfield. He swings it to Webb out of the backfield, caught and knocked out of bounds. Smacks, kick, splits the uprights. Hey, Billy, thanks for your time. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Billy Napier, head coach in his third season here with the Florida Gators. Less than a crowd this size. It's thinned out a little bit in the second half. D.J. Lagway on the run. That pass is complete. He's got T.J. How people have gravitated to, to Slackman in the locker room. So a nice addition for Florida's defense. Lagway looking for another one of those big completions. Third and 16 here for Lagway in the orange offense. Steps up in the pocket mm. and he throws an interception. That one's picked off by Manny. Leader. He's a great quarterback, and being in his second season in this uh, this system is just going to do wonders for him. And then you add to that, you know, DJ Lagway, you know, player that which messes things up a lot with the numbers. I think what we're trying to find out this year on the Gator team is, is do we have another guy that can move into that spot? I think we got Academy that's incredible, and they were in Atlanta, so it, just the friendships is really special. And you're celebrating Ohio State guys. I think Lad McConkey <laughs> won it. Like, you you, you got to forget to play and enjoy it. And uh, there's a little more dopamine rushes when people are trying to hit you with the ball. It's like a little sword fight or something. That was incomplete over on the. DJ Lagway leading the orange offense. Quick throw out to the far sideline. And that's Pierto with another. A lot of guys are going to be counted on of this Florida team that you want to know that can trust. You can trust them when you get into the ball game. So I, I, I love the fact. That be the last drive today for Graham Mertz as well. Johnson on the carry across the 40 down to the 37. Fences off with the, the, the change in rhythm. 
Make the handoff on the end around, give it to Johnson, but that one is blown. Yeah, like uh, some sort of sign when you're about to take a shot, because I want to be zoned in. <laughs> all, right? all right, I'll think of something. Right, <laughs> what, what do you think overall about your teammates? You know, I think that the thing that was most impressive to me yesterday was his desire to help everybody around him learn. And with a, a team that's as young. Did he have the orange and blue glasses on when he was I, I started that? trying to think, like, who else would be in that mix? If we could start the, in the conference here, I mean. Oh. There were a lot of question marks in, in a lot of places with not a ton of experience coming back. And then this year you look up, part of it with the addition of. On the ground, and a big run for the Orange offense down. Oh, so it's, uh, it's fun to see the benches get a chance to empty late in the spring games. This time a tackle behind. Play well. That's the Umami Ellen, one of the transfers out from Florida, and a, certainly a productive. The guys they brought in through the portal is going to give them an opportunity to present much more for def uh, opposing offenses to have to prepare for. Ah, the dreaded door. Mertz pressured, stepped up. He's able to dump it off for a completion out of the backfield. Jacoby Jack. I guess they called it a sack after all. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of plays in the penetration, kind of disrupting some of the run game. Ragway with the pump fake, and then he takes off, and they blow. Second and ten. Mertz incomplete. All right, so we've got, which means Blue didn't have to burn a timeout. Blue team bringing the blitz. Nice job by DJ Lagway there. Recognize leadership and experience brings to you. No timeouts remaining for the blue team. They throw it over the middle of the field. It will stop with the first down on the spring game. Good snap, good hold. Kick is on the way, and it is good. And it is a walk-off win for the blue team. Trey Smack splits the uprights.